In February 2022, when the world's largest black diamond went for sale, the Enigma Diamond at Sotheby's, it changed the landscape for black diamonds. The black diamond of the Enigma black diamond sold for 8,000 a carat, setting a new record for black diamond. Now, what was interesting about the Enigma black diamond and the constant problem you face with all black diamonds that you find is they're always having pits. They're pivoted. They have lines, inclusion, cracks. They're never easily polished because the surface is never smooth. They're very, very troublesome stones. So as I look and hunt gems through Central Africa, where the majority of these black diamonds are found, they're, they're found predominantly in the Central Africa region. When you find these stones, they're always in very bad shape, right? They're very unattractive. They're very, very difficult to work with, and they would never meet the high level standard that, you know, somebody like Cap Florence would want. But there is a huge market for black diamonds, even of the lower grade. So a lot of times I'll buy and sell them but I try to only get the best quality if possible, but you see maybe one every three or four years. So they're very, very uncommon. What you have here is something that is extremely rare. It is perfectly polished. There is no pivots. There is no crevices. There is no inclusions. There is no problems. The girdle is completely polished all the way around. The faceting is perfect. And you were looking at a 10.33 carat. To get this quality in one carat is almost impossible to get smooth surface perfect one two carat may be doable but very very difficult almost impossible to get the black diamonds of this sort what you have here is a 10 carat this is a 10.33 carat unbelievable stone now look at the mount the mount is already over one and a half carats that sets you back well over 7,800 costs just for the mount and how much do you put a value on a 10 carrot unbelievable diamond well if it sells at the enigma price it's eighty thousand so that's eight thousand a carat but i tell you when i buy these stones i buy them from miners who are randomly pan mining in central africa so they accidentally hit them and to be honest they don't know whether they're diamond they don't know whether they're black onyx they don't know whether they're black spinel they don't know what what they are and i usually get them mixed with some rough that i buy that's like tourmaline you know material you you know, like tourmaline, some aquamarine, et cetera. And then basically it comes along with the lot. So the price you're paying for this is so low. It's the price of aquamarine or tourmaline, which is outright illegal. So when you see the Don's Club price on this, you'll understand why this is a one-shot opportunity for the collector who wants what I cannot replace regularly. Like I said, once every three years, I'll get a stone amongst the rough that I buy. I don't even attempt to go into the market to try to buy black diamond because the qualities I see are ridiculously low and the prices are ridiculously high. So this is a great piece. If you want something special, if you want something collectible, it is beautiful, it is big, it is vibrant, aeronautically engineered Cap Florence and a winner across the board.